Hi, this is Barry Nadler with eLearningDeconstructed.com, where we create eLearning rock stars. Today we're going to be creating a letterbox style image from within PowerPoint 2013. So when we say letterbox, what exactly do we mean? This is an example of an image that has been letterboxed. Notice the white stripe at the top and the white stripe at the bottom. This is very similar to what you see if you were to watch a DVD at home in widescreen format. There's two ways to create an image that looks like it's letterboxed. Both of them are going to involve image cropping. The first one is going to be using the guides within PowerPoint to give us an area to crop. And the second is going to be to use shapes to assist us in the cropping. So we're going to create some rectangles on the screen and we're going to crop to that size. Here we are in PowerPoint 2013. And on the screen, you'll see the image that we're going to use to do our letterbox. And the piece that we like is right here with these people. And you have leading lines here and here. So we know that this central area right in here is going to be used for the letterbox style. So the first thing you want to do is go to your view tab. Turn on your ruler. We're going to use this two and this two as our guides of where we want to position the image. So you'll turn on your guides and this is your guide right here. You'll notice that there's one here and there's one here down the middle. We don't care about the one down the middle. We're going to take this one and we're going to move it up to the two. Okay, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just kind of in the general vicinity. Then we're going to hold down the control key and we're going to click and drag down. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us a second guide right here. So now under the picture tools, if you crop, you can crop the image down to here and up to here. And now we have a letterbox format image. However, there's a problem. The problem is that it's not the full size of the slide. You could resize the image, but then you have a bigger letterbox and it defeats the purpose of the guides. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this over and we're going to resize this image. Okay. Notice that your dot here is off from the center. So we're going to slide that down just a little bit and we're going to recrop this image. So again, we'll crop down and then we're going to crop up. And there you go. Now you have a very nice letterbox image. And if you go into your slideshow, you'll notice that you have a very nice, clean letterbox image with the top and the bottom. You don't miss it. It looks nice. You're good to go. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to use shapes as our guides rather than using the guides within PowerPoint. So under your insert menu, You'd go to your shapes and we'd create a rectangle. We're going to use that same two. So we're going to drag our rectangle there and we're going to give him a fill of black. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down control and we're going to create a second box down here at the bottom. And he automatically lines up with the two. And you can see there's the image in there that's kind of in the letterbox format. And what we'll do is we'll go under the picture tools and we will crop that image down to that line there. And we'll crop him up to that line there. Now just like before we had the same problem where the picture doesn't fit the width of the slide correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to resize this image. Okay, then we're going to line him back up. And again, we're going to crop. And you can kind of see where the box is there. And you can see where the box is there. So now if we delete our boxes, there you go. You have the same letterboxed image. You can also right click on it, save it as a picture, and then you'll have that picture saved in letterbox format to use again and again and again. Once again, thank you for taking your time to watch this. We hope you got something out of it. I'm Barry Nadler with eLearningDeconstructed.com where we create eLearning rock stars. If you like what you saw here, 
go ahead over to our website at elearningdeconstructed.com. We've got plenty more for you. Thanks. Bye.